Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're doing great. Guys, so I'm back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create this amazing looking uh, trading effect inside this Sanma 4D. So let me show you what we're gonna create here. So as you can see here, we're going to create this effect inside this Sanma 4D. And after that, I will tell you how you can render 30 second long uh, animation as you can see here 30 second long and it's only take two minutes to render so after that i will show you that so so let's dig in so that's our file here so which we are gonna create again so let's create a new project file i already did so this is a 3d model of baseball bat so i already uh, download it from the sketch fab so all credit goes to the uh, maker of this 3d model so it's not only a baseball bat basically it's uh, uh, also a sword so if you take it out so as you can see here it's a sword with really beautiful nice looking blade and it's really really high resolution texture so we're gonna use this so let's dig in so first we need uh, to create a single mesh for our cloth so how we can do that we just simply add a volume to add a volume builder and we just duplicate all these object and put it under our volume builder so as you can see i already create some geometry we just turn it off original one and add a volume measure take it under our volume builder so that's looking already good so let's make it a little bit like more dense and if we just hide so as you can see here there is a problem when we add more density uh, decrease the voxel size it's give you this kind of effect so for fixing that what we're gonna do here we just first we just make it connect so where is connect 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 oh my god where is connect here we go so it's really hard after they change the so now if we just take it under our volume builder press C so as you can see here without connect and with connect so now it's working really well so that's looking okay for me so let's make it editable just uh, click on volume measure and press C and it gives you one object but there is one problem as you can see here so our actual bat is b uh, thicker than our clothes so we cannot fix it later so let's add some vertex map on it first take a look at our geometry uh, okay that's looking pretty good but as you can see here there is some problem so we just add a remeasure for re um, our geometry just put it under there and let's see how it's look okay as you can see here now we have really really cool and clean polygons so that's what we want we just press C again and our geometry is ready to go we just duplicate it for rename it as remesh proxy we gonna use that pad for our what we say as a collider and we're going to use this one for cloth cloth mesh so uh, but for collider object we don't need this high resolution 3d model otherwise it's really gonna uh, slow down my all animation for that uh, we need to add polygon reduction so because we don't need too much polygons as you can see here they are looking good but we need really less okay so 
okay that's looking okay for me just press c and rename it take it out and delete that that's looking awesome now just hide this one and unhide our actual cloth so first of all we need to add a vertex map on it so how we can do that just click on tools and click on paint tool and click anywhere uh, select your uh, cloth mesh and click anywhere of your cloth so here we go now click on your vertex map and click on uh, check this box use fields and uh, go and click on freeze clear and delete that freeze layer now just add a spherical field and we need to animate this so let's say one percent just animate and go on frame 100 and take it all the way let's say it's depend on all your bad size it's really big for me i think but it's depend on your bad size just hold click and control again now let's see what's the create okay that's looking good for me so now next thing we need to add first of all let's uh okay in center let's center our center of our bed of the cloth okay so that's what we need now if we hit play so as you can see here that's what we need so after that we add one more field here called shader and add a noise change noise from north to okay stepple i don't know how to pronounce it i hope that's okay increase the size and also a little bit add more darkness that's looking good that's give a little bit more a uh, randomness to our effect so after that we go back to our field and change uh, shader field from max to overlay that's what we want okay that's looking awesome after that we need to add a cloth effect let's see click go on similar cloth tag and one more tag called cloth belt now we just go in point mode and select all points uh, my A is not working I don't know why like all the points and click on belt and take your remesh proxy we just duplicate and make it low poly and put it under belt on and click on set it's take little bit time because there is too many points so that's why it's taking little time as you can see here it's already convert uh, change its color to a yellow and we in influence a uh, map we just drag and drop our vertex map so now if we hit play so as you can see here uh, our all bad going to fall because because we need to let's hide this first and go back as you can see here it's a uh, effect inverted like we want to invert our these shaders so how we can do that just go in vertex map and in field just add one more field call invert when we do that now if we hit play let me show you what we're gonna do here so as you can see here now it's only affecting those areas which we want that's looking awesome so let's add more thing here 
first of all control D in simulation scene just take it down gravity minus 2 because we don't need any gravity so let's see if anything changed yes gravity is off now next thing we need to do here we add a force called what we say a tractor and if we hit play so let's see what's going on As you can see here, it's attracting it, but we need negative value. So well, let's say oh, negative 150. Now hit play again. Okay, something happening. So now we need to add one more force called field force, and we just resize it like that and here we just add our remesh proxy inside this field and change this trend to 2000 let's see and change from point to surface and increase the radius now let's see what's happen if we hit play let's increase it to 5000 or let's say 5000 add more not 1500 So that's looking good. All that uh, make sure all values depend on your size of your 3d model i think i have really big 3d model that's why it's a uh, change your values let's say 15,000 to uh, 90,000 so let's see what's happen okay that's going really good so now we just add a tearing effect click on cloth go down add a tearing effect here and change from 150 to 120 and let's see what's happen now okay that's looking good Lots on. 
okay that's looking good so next thing we need to add a cloth surface on our cloth mesh and we just don't want to subdivide it but what we need here we need a little bit thickness okay so there is a problem so okay let's add more thickness to it okay that's looking good so next thing one more thing we need to add is subdivision or give them more random look so as you can see here it's look more interesting so we we'll just add one more like that that's looking great so now what we're gonna do here we just let's hit play again just turn off the sur surface tween so tween surface so let's see how it's work So as you can see here that's looking pretty wild so if you can slow down your uh, effects just go in for a uh, field force and decrease the strength so let's say let's change it to a 70,000 all values depend on the size of your object so I think I have really really uh, big 3d model that's why it's behave like that I need to add really really more what we say values like 70,000 and that's as you can see here they, they just uh, take down the power of the explosion so okay that's looking great so now let's add some we just hide the field force here from right now so that's looking pretty cool for me after that we need to render this so how we can do that let me show you first of all we just also turn off the attractor and not attractor spherical field so for render this object we're going to use a view a viewport renderer we're going uh, we don't use any other like standard physical redshift or Arnold we just simply use uh, what we say we just simply going to use a viewport renderer so viewport renderer is working really well with pbr material if you don't know what is it's a photo based material like this one so let me show you first of all let's uh, catch our cloth we just click on catch and calculate catch so we just come back after our catch is finished or catch it finished so let's hit play what we get here so as you can see here we get pretty good looking result now let's go to our rendering part so how we can render it so we just turn on the subtween surface so we can see more so first of all we need to apply some material on that so how we can do that we just create a new material let's add something simple uh, reflective material 
me just add simple reflection like a metal that's looking good so let's give them some texture like graffiti i will do let's type i think let's take a look at this so that's not looking really well just we need to invert that just add zero okay not looking great turn off the color that's looking great change the projection mode to cubic and click on seamless add more tiles 50 and 50 okay it's 20 20 okay that's looking cool now as you can see here we want to see a really high resolution if you want to render from the viewport so we make sure we can see all the uh, what we say uh, all the texture which is originally re with original resolution let me show you how we can do that viewport click on default and when we do that as you can see here so we can now see all the original texture and we also we're gonna do the same thing with that one and change it to so as you can see here it's give you really good result now after that we add a background let's add background and add a material on our background and change the material give them gradient change the white to dark brown or oh, sorry gray and like that a little bit turbulence and that's looking great but the problem is the texture let's change it to a white simple material like this one So let's change the color a bit. I don't like that color. So as you can see here, it's looking great, but we want something a little bit lighter. Uh, it's really dark, so we uh, we're going to use some different texture. So that's uh, metallic also looking good, but uh, let's see. okay mm, but it's looking great but we need to give them some texture so let's add some texture okay we're going to use the previous texture 
okay where is that let me find it uh, I need to organize this laptop because it's not uh, my desktop uh, I don't use it usually so I just do this sometime when I make videos or in my free time so that's why it's not really organized so it's really hard to find something from them so as you can see there that's looking great so next thing we are going to use a uh, let's let me show you okay just click on geometry only so it's hide everything else besides geometry so let's add camera and give them some depth of field here so just turn on the depth of field so just make sure you can own all these effects from the options viewport options as you can see here depth of field is on and okay everything is on magic bullet is on everything so now just change the F to, uh, focus point so as you can see here that's looking great already looking great so okay now just take a look at this okay this is really good looking i really love this feature of fanma 4d uh, so you can just render from the viewport if you going to use uh, it's really uh, work well with pbr material if you don't know it's photo based material any photo based material with normal maps and uh, displacement map it's real uh, work really well with that so you can render track from your viewport if you don't want to render re really really uh, good but if you want to just render for some projects that don't need much light uh, but make sure you don't use any light because if you are using lights if you need lights in your scene so viewport render is not the option so if you don't need any light just uh, you need a simple animation like this one and you are going to use pbr material if you want to give them light so use light so just make sure you just create a luminance material and apply on the mesh and use them as a light so otherwise uh, original lights not gonna work here so that's one issue is that but if you want to just render your simple animation so that's really awesome option because it takes just one or two minutes to render 250 frame a frame so it's i'm really impressed and there is one more really magical option here called magic bullet i will show you in few time uh, in few moments so okay let's now turn on the depth of field and change our focus point okay that's looking great let's add magic bullet and change from renderer to view pure renderer and make sure you click on that copy from the viewport and turn on the geometry only option from the filter and go back here sorry and change the height and width 90 20 and 10 80 so as you can see here if we render it so it's just take 4.04 second sorry 0 0.04 second it's really really fast and you can see here it's really high resolution renderer we just turn on uh, make uh, increase the subsurface to the uh, subduian surface so let's add now magic bullet effect it's really magical as you know this is uh, its name magic bullet but it's really do some magic on your uh, rendering so as you can see here we have some custom looks so i'm going to use not this one not this one also okay we're going to use that that's okay so as you can see here it really gives you really amazing look to your 
see there is a bunch of more uh, field uh, custom presets so you can check that out so i hope you like this video and if you like this video just subscribe my channel share it with your friend like it and you can download the file from the description it's free so thanks for watching allah hafiz